hello, boys and girls, ladies and gents, and members of the Big Red Food Army. It's your boy, Big Red, the General, and Little Red, the Full Bird Colonel. And I salute you. We're on another one of Big Red's Fast Food Fat Man Adventures. And where are we at today? We're at Shipley Donuts. Because today is June 2nd. That's his first official uh, day of summer vacation, which technically not because it is actually a school day for the teachers. It's a student holiday, and then technically Monday will start his new uh, his holiday. Saturday, well. well, yeah, he's right. Saturday will start his first day of technical summer vacation. But we're at Shipley Donuts. Why? Because it's June 2nd, and it's National Donut Day, y'all. So... I think I might have had Shipley Donuts when I first moved to Houston. And I, if I remember correctly, I didn't care for them much. So ever since then, I never did eat them. And, well, I just haven't eaten donuts in, like, God knows how long. And I just, if, if again, if memory serves correctly, I called them Shitly Donuts because they tasted like shit. But we're going to give them another try. It's been... Hell, we've been here since 2005, and now we're 2017, so it's been a good 12 years. Hopefully, they've gotten better. According to their sign that I'm looking at, it says they've been established since 1936. So they've been in business for a long goddamn time. It's a little franchise here in Texas. I don't know where else they are, but we didn't have them in Louisiana when I was a kid. But because it's National Donut Day... Their parking lot's packed, and they've got a line going around the building for the drive through So, again, we're going to wait in this line. We're going to get some shitty donuts. He hasn't had breakfast. I haven't had breakfast. It's 10 in the morning. You know, I usually eat, like, Taco Bell or Carl's Jr. or Whataburger or something like that for breakfast. But, yeah, I got my boy, and he likes breakfast food and donuts and all them shenanigans. So, let's knock this joint out. I will pause y'all, and I will see y'all when we get up to the window to order, because we might be sitting here a little minute, minute. All right. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. All right, so we've been sitting in line here for over 15 minutes, and we got one more person ahead of us, and then we're going to get our donuts. So that's what we're going to do. He's been playing some video game on his phone. I've been just chilling, listening to the radio and enjoying my time with my son, listening to him with his shenanigans on his game. And, uh, yeah, life is good. It's a nice little rainy day, so we have rainy day donuts. I don't know what kind of donuts they serve here, because, like I said, I've only had them once when I was working, and one of the sales reps or one of the uh, one of the uh, what you call it the uh, customers brought donuts, one or the other, and I had them. And I don't know if it was because I was sitting out there for a little minute or or what, but I wasn't thrilled. Let's just put it that way. We used to have a little mom and pop shop back in New Orleans that had two locations and they had some of the best damn donuts you ever want to have. And we had a we had Dunkin' Donuts, which they kind of sucked. And we had Tasty Donuts, spelled T-A-S-T-E-E -E, with two E's. And they were a, a franchise in the New Orleans area, and they were actually pretty good. Uh, they used to make the little, the little uh, munch. They called them the Munchkin donuts, the little donut holes. And they even made some of the Munchkins, like you could get a big donut with like glaze, uh, not glaze, um, cream filling or jelly filling. And they made the Munchkins like that too. So it was all cool. You know, you get like 30, 40 of them, freaking. You and your family had a good time with that and a glass of milk. You know what I'm saying? Word of will. So, I don't get this. This dude had ordered his donuts, and he ain't moving. Uh, be oh, that's because they got a freaking jackass in front of him that's waiting on a parking spot, blocking up 
the freaking drive spot. I mean, this this parking lot is a clusterfuck. It's you know when two roads merge together. Well, this is in between that, like in between where my fingers are. They're in that little V right there. And there's a road to the left of us, a road to the right, and there's a road in front of us. And it's just a shitty location here. Take the camera. You be the cameraman. Hello, how are you? How many do you want? Three. Uh, going to be get in two separate bags. Can we do three do three glazed donuts for him? And I want two glazed donuts and a glazed jelly. Jelly? Jelly donut. You got jelly donut? Jelly donut? Strawberry, yeah. I want glaze, a glazed jelly and two regular glazed donuts and two containers of milk. Two containers of milk. White? white milk? Yeah, white milk. Uh -huh. Cracker milk. You know, honky milk. Chocolate? No, white milk. Yeah. Blanco. Oh. Two large white milk, okay? Yes, Ready? that's it. 422. How much? Thank you. I think there so might there be a have. language barrier. Huh? I think there might be a language There's barrier. There's a slight language barrier because watch how you're holding the thing. Yes. Because grande, rojo, loco, muy poquito espanol. Can I get a receipt, please? She didn't. You missed. You confused her when you said. Okay. See, you didn't understand my whole order. I wanted one bag with this. Uh huh. Two glaze, one strawberry jelly. Yeah, and then I wanted another bag with three glaze. Oh, three more. Yes, okay. three more. Ah, good Lord. This one is two free, okay? That's two, yeah. two glazes, one, yeah. Uh -huh. I need three more glazes. Uh -huh. Wow. You gotta love that, you gotta love that freaking non-wall border. I thought it was pretty self-explanatory. You know, I thought that was pretty self-explanatory. I want one bag with three glazed donuts and one bag with two glazed donuts and a glazed jelly. But, again, welcome to Little Mexico, a.k.a. Houston, Texas. Well, actually, we're not in Houston. We're in spring right now, but still. Um, with that being said, Y'all going up in the little thing so I could drive and get the hell on out of this crappy ass parking lot. So, with that being said, and I'd have to say that's damn expensive. So it was what, two fifty-two, and then how much was for the other one? I don't know, two two fifty-two for one, and then uh, how much was the other one? Something four dollars and some change. Hell, for that kind of money, I could have went to the freaking, uh, what you call that joint? The, uh, the grocery store got a gallon of milk and probably a dozen donuts. Thank you, lady, for letting me through. Uh, so, Shitly Donuts, so far you're not... You're not the cheapest you think they are. They used to be cheap. They are not anymore. Anyway... I mean, look at this, all squished to hell. Look at that. I mean, the, the donuts in New Orleans, when you fill them with the jelly, 
this whole thing puffs up. It don't look like some big Bertha ass sat on it. I don't know. What do you call Bertha in Spanish? I don't know. They might have a Spanish Bertha up in there. I've never heard of Spanish Bertha, so I don't think they have Bertha's one. the big, big, big butt girl that sits on your, your hamburgers. So, barely any jelly in here. The jelly, strawberry jelly is not bad. It's just I love when my donuts are nice and squished. It makes them taste so much better, shitly donuts. And yes, you still are shitly. Then obviously you have not had donuts in a very long time. That's how everywhere it is. What, shitty? Usually like your average donuts you can kind of find everywhere. So realistically, how much... Did that work out to? Because we got basically a half a dozen donuts and two milks. At least these glazed donuts are hot. I can feel it being hot. Well, it's not hot. I should say warm. The warm. The warmness isn't terrible. Okay. See, I could kind of deal with the, the, uh, hold on, son. Make that little yellow light. So, street donuts going to be enough, or you want this, my no. third, you want my third Three, one? Three, okay. So, three's going to set you right, huh? Alright, at least the rain looks like it's spiking. You've got mail. Is that what that's for? Great thing I got a phone. notification. Yeah, you've got mail. Alright. So we got some errands to run today, so that's what we're doing. We're on an adventure of running errands. And that parking lot was so crowded, I didn't want to have to sit in that parking lot and do the grubbing. How come you know I can't see you? Oh, there you are. Because I'm trying to be incognito. Okay. The warm donuts are... All right. Average. Mm. Nothing that's going to light the culinary world on fire, that's for sure. I'd have to say as much as I hate Dunkin' Donuts, they might be a step ahead of these. Or pretty equal to. What do you think? I mean, this is like your average donut nowadays. There isn't really... And they, they, they serve your Borden's milk. damn rain. Sticky ass fingers and more rain. That's why I am um, after. Well, that's why they put the little wax paper grabber in there for you, I guess. 
but I'm a savage. I'm a beast, not obese, a beast. Because A comes before O, and I'm definitely before them other fat guys, right? I'm a beast. A monster. I don't care. I'll get dirty fingers. There's your milk, son. It does the body good. Builds big bones. <coughs> Doubt him. Because I'm still tiny. <sighs> you get that from your mom's side of the family. That's his throat. All right, so, boss is good. All right, so once we stop, we're going to rate these little puppies and see what's what. I didn't even see Madeline's car there. Eh? Hang on, St. Christopher. Nobody knows how to park in this fucking town, huh? Barely any room to park on this edge here. Watch when you get out, there might be a little puddle puddle. You know, y'all can park a little closer to fucking one another. It won't fucking hurt you. Watch you don't smash that post. Yeah. All right, so here's a little logo. Let me show y'all the little Shitley Donuts logo. Shipley Donuts. It's actually Shipley, but since they are, look, they, they're so communist, look, they, they don't even give you a whole napkin. It's a half a napkin, y'all. Look at that. It's, a, it, it's literally. I think it's communist. It is definitely communist witchcraft. It's communist witchcraft because also their only colors on there are dark and reddish colors, and they serve you red milk. Yeah, it's well, communist. Red, it's definitely communist China milk or something. Communist witchcraft for sure. Oh, bird nest bibs doing its job. Slightly. Um, so anyway, these little baby napkins. What the fuck they think they're doing? I'm putting back there with the other stash. Donuts. Here, take all the trash so we can throw that out. We got a dumpster right next to you. Yeah, take the rest of the trash. And then I think they got one more bag of trash. I don't know. If so I can't reach it. There should be one more back there, but I can't see. But anyway, let's rate these these uh, these little uh these little things here. All right, Shitly Donuts for your lack of communication, the lack of a menu board where I could order my shit outside and pick it up when I go, and the fact that my jelly donut didn't have a whole lot of jelly and it was squished. And it was on National Donut Day. Y'all are getting... <sighs> but my glazed donuts were hot. Or warm, I should say. What do you think? Come on. Give me your input so I can kind of feel what I'm gonna, I, where I'm going with this. Based on this, I give them like a 2.5 or a 3. See, that's being generous. I'm giving them a 1.5. Shitly Donuts, a.k.a. Shipley Donuts. Y'all getting a 1.5 flip-flops. Your milk was good, but then again, y'all ain't had y'all y'all ain't out there milking a cow. Y'all making the donuts, and they were freaking average at best. Your service sucked. The way you got your little drive-through sucked. Your parking lot at that location sucked. So yeah, one point one point five flip flops, and that's being generous on my part. Little Red said 2.5. That's the world of donuts nowadays, though. Yeah, well, guess what? That's why I don't eat donuts no more. And I love donuts. Anyway, over the subscription button, please consider subscribing if you have not done so already. Next to that, it's a notification bell, and it will notify you when I have new content. Over here is... Uh, shut that so keep the cold air in, son. Now I got to start the damn car back up in the blurry air condition. Come on, man. Use this. Out. You got one of them. I'm Think. About Come to on. Get out. Yeah, when I'm finished this, yes, that's when you open the door. Come on. Get with the program here. No. Get with the program here. No. Over here, thumbs up, thumbs down. Bam, smash him with one. Mm -hmm. And bam, smash me with one if you want. Thumbs up, thumbs down. It don't matter, but we like these better in the middle. 
is a description button. Please click that, open it up, it gets bigger. Like, kind of like when you break open a gentleman's pants. Sometimes it gets bigger. Anyway, but inside of there, there's a wealth of knowledge. There's a description to this video. And there's links to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. As well as this channel's homepage link on YouTube. Where you can find all our older content. And view it. It's separated to make it easy for you to find the series you like. Life is hard enough. Watching this two-ton tubby eat shouldn't make it harder. Also, there is a link to... Uh, purchase Big Red uh, Show t-shirts. Uh, you can do so on the internet, or if you're in Old Town Spring, you can go to my friend's shop and buy them right there. Also, there is a link to the PayPal account. If you want to help this channel grow or whatever, know that you don't have to, but if you want to, that's what it's there for. And if you're feeling a little spunky and generous, click that bad boy. Below that, comment section. Type me a comment. I'll type you one back. Show me yours and I'll show you mine. And as always, tell your mom, tell your pa, tell your greasy, greasy grandma, share this video with your family and friends, help this channel grow. Show them how you've been getting down with Big Red. Maybe they'd like to hop aboard the crazy train and ride it till the wheels fall off with Big Red and Little Red. You never know until you share it. Sharing is caring. And from my day one sub to my newest sub, I love each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for hanging out with your boy. I know y'all got better shit to do, but y'all enjoy watching Big Red. And I appreciate it. So, till then, next time, Big Red, Little Red for a Big Red's Fast Food Fat Man. And we'll see you next time in the drive-thru. We out. We got shit to do, yo. It's vacation time.